Devout Catholics and holiday travelers alike say the Holy Week is a season of penance. While the devout perform religious duties, vacationers and passengers bound for the provinces have to wrestle with tens of thousands others in cramped bus terminals, sea and airports. And less than two weeks before the Lenten week, lawmakers convene land and maritime transport regulators and transport operators to discuss improvements in services. LTFRB Chairman Martin Delgar says the agency granted special permits to more than a thousand bus units in anticipation of higher passenger volume. Agency records show there are more than 8,000 provincial buses nationwide, but supply may not still meet demand in some routes. We are still processing applications for special permits. Public transport has seen a number of fatal incidents, including the bus crash in Tanay Rizal last February that killed 14 students, and a fire that raced a passenger ferry off the coast of Batangas this month. Land Transportation Office Chief Edgar Galvante says they reminded some public utility operators and drivers on road safety measures during a recent meeting. Pati drug test yung ano yung drivers randomly kukuha tayo ng mga ano gusto lang i-assure kami na yung part down nila gagampanan naman nila. Officials from Marina also vowed to intensify maritime safety. We've been monitoring the seaworthiness of the vessel by way of conducting random inspection of vessels because we have limited number of our enforcement service. Lawmakers want concerned government agencies to improve their service, especially on the maintenance of restrooms. When they were, they were made magaganda, ngayon, hindi siya naaalagaan dahil hindi alam kung sinong mag-aalaga nun. For commercial bus terminals, the LTFRB issued a memorandum circular order in 2008 requiring separate restrooms, including one for persons with disability. LTFRB board member Eileen Nizada says passengers can file complaints against bus companies if they find terminals inconvenient and below standards set by the government. Makoy Popioko, CNN, Philippines.